What it do guys, it is your boy King Kane, aka the Fit Pharaoh, coming at you with another video. Today guys, is going to be a chest workout day. Normally it wouldn't seem like I had so much energy over a chest workout, but I'm doing it with one of my closest friends that I consider basically blood to me. So it's a treat for me because I haven't seen him in a, we haven't had him in a scene for a very long time. Some of you guys might know him, and some of you guys, it might be a new face to you guys, but he's a real real close friend of mine big homie you know well a little big because i'm older than him but anyway but yeah so it's one of my close friends and so with that being said guys i'm gonna get my stuff get ready to get to the gym meet up with him we're gonna destroy leg day i mean dang chest day and we're gonna pick heavy stuff up and put it down and pick it back up put it back down might throw a few cuss words in there every now and then but we're gonna pick up some more heavy stuff and then put it back down all right guys so with that being said i will see you guys later we'll get back into the gym and destroy it king king oh uh yeah man like i was saying earlier it's just it's it's a very good treat to have my boy back in the gym with me man because i i'm one of those people where i actually don't like training with a lot of people it's just to me it's just it's kind of pointless because there's a lot of people who would like to train with me, but training and working out to me is two different things. It really is because training is when I'm doing some real serious stuff. Like I'm training for a specific reason. So when I have certain people in the, that's him right now. Yo, I'm heading to the gym now, man. I had to get my stuff ready. That's because you be driving 10 million miles an hour, nigga. <laughs> hey, guess what? You on you on video right now while I'm talking to you. Fuck you, nigga. You see you? All right, man. All right. All right. Yeah, that's that's my boy, man. I love I love hanging with this guy, man, because. It's always good to have like-minded people in your circle, like your very inner circle. And you don't even need a lot of people. All you need is like maybe one or two good friends. So that's why I speak so highly of them, man. I'm not, I'm not being funny or that, you know, sweet stuff, but it's just, I speak highly of them because he has some of the same like-minded goals as me. And that helps you, that helps you further your own potential. When you have people who have like-minded goals. So again, Find you a good friend that you can really relate to and y'all can talk about the same kind of goals and try to accomplish them together because it helps each other that much get that much closer to what they're trying to get to. So again, I'm not gonna talk your head off guys, but that's just why I speak so highly of Anyway, so I'll see you guys when we get to the gym. So like I said guys, I'm back in the gym now. Meet up with my boy. Look at him, look at him. <laughs> Baby face ass nigga. He don't got my shit together, don't this man. This man don't got no hair on his face. <laughs> Smooth <laughs> face ass. Anyway, guys. So yeah, we about to get it in. Like I said, man, it's always good to have at least one person in your circle that you can really mess with when it comes to weightlifting. Because if you don't have that synchronization, somebody who's on the same level as you and really trying to train, then there's no point of working out with them. Like I said before, there's a difference between training and working out. So. With that being said, let's get into this workout and kill it. All right, guys, starting off back, this is where I'm at. I'm at 225. I'm bench pressing just to see how it feels. I'm filling it out for now. So this is like my first little warm-up set under some pretty moderately heavy weight. And I only did like five or six reps, but it was just to fill it out and see how it was. Surprisingly, it wasn't heavy to me, but in one of my previous videos, which I'm going to leave a little card on, it, it, I actually struggled to hit 225. I don't know if that was a muscle memory thing or maybe I just had an off day, but it just felt weird. So it felt fine, so I decided to go up and wait and see where it was. My boy was talking to me, he said it didn't seem like it was heavy. Yeah, it didn't feel heavy that time, so I don't know. Maybe, like I said, sometimes you're going to have off days and you can't lift as much as you normally would or like to. It happens. It happens to the best of us. But anyway, so like I said, getting back into it, I was lifting this. And I'm like, okay, this doesn't feel bad. It wasn't putting no strain on me. And I said, okay, let's go up again. Now here's where it's always important to have a spotter, guys. It's always important to have a spotter. Even if you know you can lift the weight, you should always have a spotter. Main reason being is because you never know. You can lose your balance. 
you might have a muscle tear I mean you just gotta prepare for the worst you never know so it's always good to take these minor precautions just to be on the safe side always have a spotter even if you know you can clean the lift clear the lift so I got him spotting me just to be on the safe side and it's odd because again I, I really felt like going up even more right here because I was cleaning it pretty nicely and I could have actually went for a third one but another thing is if you second guess yourself when you get underneath the weight tell your spotter put it down and try it again don't try to be a, a eagle lifter just put it down and try it again alright at this point I decided to go down and be smart about it so I didn't go up any higher I started going down and actually started doing real sets here I just did three sets of 15 I'm not going to show all that but it's in there so I'm just going down at this point in weight but it was good to know that I could actually get back up there so quickly I wasn't so I mean 315 is not really a big deal to me because I've done it before I did it even in high school in, in ninth grade so 315 wasn't that impressive to me anymore as it was back then but the fact that I went from in a month time only from struggling with 175 I don't know what that was about but I actually struggled with 175 on the bench press to struggling with 225 to throwing up 315 so in a month's time worth of progress that's actually pretty good for me now everybody else might vary you might you might increase faster you might increase slower but remember it all depends on your worth your work ethic alright so in this part right here I'm doing my variations I call it co uh, close quarter chest dips because I'm keeping my arms slightly bent I'm looking like I'm diving into the water and believe it or not it's also working my shoulders as well as my pectoral muscles but I personally I actually like my shoulder muscles more than any muscle on my body because to me it seems more profound it seems more defined and stuff so you know that's one of my prize muscles anyway back into what I was saying about the chest so when I'm doing my dips and all, I'm slightly bent forward it kinda got a little curve in my back and this was pretty good for me because I feel like it really stretches out my back muscles. My boy over there uh, smiling in my face and all that, just being goofy, messing me up. I tell you, man, boy, crazy. Yeah, but my boy, man, he um, he used to be really, really small. Like when I say really small, oh, here I go. See, he done pissed me off because he was rushing me. When I say small, man, he was like one. I think at his lowest, he was like 165 or something. He was a real skinny guy, but he he's put in some serious work. As you can see, my man got a nice cover back going. He's doing some good work, man. Proud of him. Alright, so back into it, guys. At this point, after doing my little warm-up that you saw earlier, I'm just doing some little some little feel-good weight lifting right here. I'm just like, alright, let's get a good pump going. I see a little vein showing in my shoulders. That's how I know for sure that I'm getting some good blow, uh, blood <laughs> flowage. Uh, blow flowage. That's funny. Anyway... So yeah, my chest is starting to round out now because you see that pump is really starting to kick in now because all the muscles are being activated in my chest. I like, can see all the striations, the little cuts in the center part of my chest starting to you know buckle and fold up. At this point, I actually decided to go up a little heavier and you can see I think I was lifting 85 pounds on each side of the weights when I was doing it. And here I went up even higher. I think, don't quote me on this, but I think I was hitting um, 108 on those because I was really trying to push it for this one just to get a nice little last you know squeeze out of that weight you see it almost pulled me did it again just to get a few more uh, securities <laughs> in that last pull yeah see those veins starting to stick out and I went back down to 85 pounds Remember guys, this is just a progressive little workout for me to see where I was and how much I've actually increased over that one month time. So all in all, I think I'm doing pretty well and getting my muscle memory back going and re and actually increasing in strength. Now here I'm doing the incline bench press. I, To be per honest, I hate the incline bench press. And you got my boy with his big tail all up in the way just taking the camera, man. Just mooning y'all. What's wrong with him? What would she get out the way? Anyway... So like I said, it's good to have a spot in this case scenario too. I, I hate the uh, incline bench press. I really do. And if you can see, I jumped in it so quickly that my hand placement wasn't right. And I actually needed my boy to tell me about it. And that's another thing. When you have a spot, make sure it's somebody you can trust because they're not going to tell you something that's going to hurt you. He told me that my hand was not placed right and that's why I was struggling to lift it up. So I took it, I put it down, 
try to re uh, assess myself and as you can see now my, my lips are much smoother so take all kind of criticism especially if it's healthy criticism that's always the best anyway so that was pretty much the workout and let's get gone Alright guys, to keep it short and sweet, that was a chest workout progression kind of video. So basically, it's showing you from where I first started with the whole YouTubing thing. And uh, showing you my first chest workout to my second to this very chest workout right here. Again, this was just to show progression and show where I had started and to where I am now. I've, I mean, I've been there before, so being able to bench press 315 isn't really a big deal. But in that short amount of time, it's actually a pretty good thing for me. So... It's, it's obviously working, so if you want to try it, by all means, try it. All right, so that has been my time. That is your boy King Kane, a.k.a. The Fit Pharaoh, and I'm gone. Oh!